Hey traders, Todd Gordon of TradingAnalysis.com. It is Monday night, uh, June 9th, and um, this is the FX video update. We are short U.S. dollars against two currencies in our uh, in the research um, and, and trade advisory business. Um, but uh, one market that we are keeping an eye on that's helping us want to be short dollars uh, is dollar against the yen. We are not short dollar yen, but we're short dollars elsewhere using this as the confirming market. Why are we not short? dollar yen because it is in a nasty triangle but within its current stage of the triangle the next move should be a small down move uh, to around 101 in dollar yen before support is found and we finally break out of this consolidation that's been in play for all of 2014 so triangle what we're talking about specifically is an Elliott triangle Okay, so here we go. This is a nice little uh, mock-up of what a triangle should look like. You have the predominant trend that, that falls into consolidation. The first wave is down. That's your A. You go to a lower high, number one in B, a higher low in C, yet another lower high in D, and a fifth and final higher low. Basically, it's a five-wave consolidation pattern. We're about right here in dollar yen. We should find support somewhere above the low of wave C, then we blast off to new highs. So that's what we're looking for right now. Specifically, each wave within the triangle, each of the five waves, is a three-wave move. So what are we looking for? We're looking for some kind of three-wave move down to around 101 to find support, then we begin to move higher. All right, so use dollar yen as a little bit of a, a confirming short dollar market, but don't be kind of short dollar yen here because it's like picking up pennies in front of the steamroller here. You might get a few hundred pips out of here, but when this thing goes, you can get run over. All right, uh, good luck, guys. Hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video update.